The National Heroes Council is calling on members of the public to give their input on the 142 individuals whose names have been proposed for the national honour. Now, the council says the 142 individuals are supposed to be recognised on Mashuja Day in Kuali County and any reservations will help in making informed decisions. <laughs> The National Heroes Council has proposed 142 names of individuals to be recognized for putting the country on the world map in different categories for vetting by members of public before their names are published. We are prompting to do gazettement of the same so that this can be official. In fact, in doing gazettement, we are looking at also going backwards so that we can build up our data for all the heroes. For the first time, we are going to look at the council has already approved Gazettement up to 2017. We have screened all those people who were honored previously, and this is going to be a first for this uh, country that all people who have been honored up to 2017, the names have been scrutinized and they're going to be gazetted. The National Heroes Council Chairman Jimmy Angwenyi and Chief Executive Officer Charles Wambia said the public have an opportunity to present their views on the suitability of the said individuals. As at now, we have done all the nominations. From last week, today is almost like eight days since the first nominations went on air for public participation. And I think by the end of next week, all these names shall be relooked into. If somebody has made any comment, uh, we shall look at the comment made on each individual. If not, all the 141 who have been put on public participation will be now prepared for the honor for the 2024 in Kuala. To me, for member of Ndiyo tupata independence. Awa ndiyo walifu sumbuka, uyu muze, uyu muze muenzake hako hako hapa, na wale wengine. The two saying the initiative is to ensure only deserving Kenyans are recognized based on their contribution to the nation building. You will be invited to this council so that you can be given an honor to receive the certificate and a medal honored through by the head of state of this country. And as we do all this, we shall be embracing a lot of cohesion in the country building up relationship and also remembering the past, persons who have done best in each and every category to appreciate our country at large. People who have led outstanding life in this country should be honored. And this is a very nice organization, and I want to encourage all Kenyans to emulate our heroes. The two were speaking during the posthumous honoring of the late Wanameme Elijah Masinde, said to have inspired a revolt against the white colonial settlers.